morning. Good morning, Facebook friend. Hey, what you doing? You got your coffee? I already had mine, had my coffee, had my breakfast. I'm off to my martial arts class. Gonna go work out and get healthy. Dun, dun, dun. So don't forget to turn your clocks ahead tomorrow. Spring ahead, fall behind. Isn't that weird how we shift it back and forth? It's like cutting a piece of rope off one end and put, tying it onto the other. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of silly, because time is a funny thing. You know me, I like time. Time is an interesting little concept. So I'm gonna talk about that a little bit. Um, I'm gonna talk about it. Hey Mike, how you doing? I'm gonna talk about time in that it's all a kind of a perceived reality. Although it's uh, we've digitized it and created hours and minutes and seconds, it's different for everybody in that uh, some people say, I don't have enough time. And that's probably because they're not delegating their time properly. By the way, I can't respond to comments because I'm driving. Safety first, so driving with Magic Brad. Here we go. Here's the other element of time, which is cool, is uh, the internet has given us, it's on 24 hours a day. So that I think is, is kind of cool. I think I gotta do something here. Hang on a second. Okay, I'm sorry, I had to test something there. So time, time, time. Time is a dimension, not a force. Um, it's a measurement system and some people have a lot of it. Some people have a little of it, but it's how they leverage their time out. I really like about uh, the online world is the ability to To leverage the internet and automate things So as an example this morning, I woke up early because I like to wake up early and I did my um, I, I did uh, two ads I posted two ads on Twitter and on Facebook and I put, I scheduled them for indefinite. So they'll run as long as they'll run and I will just monitor them. And what they do is they feed into this, uh, this affiliate marketing program that I do. This, I sell uh, online education. So it's sort of automated in that what happens is the traffic that you can select the audience, you know, you can be very definite with uh, with Twitter and with Facebook, very much with Facebook. And uh, you select the audience, and when they opt into a form, there's a thing called an autoresponder that automatically sends emails, a campaign of emails. So I don't have to send emails, although I do send out my personal email once a day to my subscribers and let them know that they gotta turn their move their clocks ahead and stuff like that. <laughs> but it happens automatically. So I placed the, these ads this morning and they're gonna run for me indefinitely and I'm gonna check them out later today to see how, what kind of traffic and stuff is happening and how many people are opting in and they're going into the program. And once they go in there, the, the, the prospect or the lead or the person that opted in they start getting this information and they can choose whether they want to invest the $49 into the 21 step business course or not. So it's sort of automated. Um, I don't have to be there and, uh, and sell. Like in a retail environment, you've got to be there to sell. When I had a kiosk at the mall or at the Ridgedale, I had to be there. And I didn't like it. I didn't like being stuck there, but uh, that's what I had to do. But with this internet-based stuff is I set it and forget it. I, I don't forget it, I monitor it to make sure that everything is flowing properly and everything. But um, it's kind of, it's, here's the analogy I use. It's like if you set up a thing where you just drive people into the Mall of America, and as long as they're tagged to you, when they start buying products and services, you get a commission off of it. So as they're shopping in the Mall of America, you get paid a commission off everything they buy for the lifetime of the customer. And that's what I like about this two-tier affiliate program that I sell, that I, that I use to market. I sell products and I sell live events and I sell business education, online education. So that's what I do and um, so it doesn't matter to me if the clock goes ahead or behind. Because I don't, I don't wake up at a certain time. I wake up whenever and I go to sleep whenever. During the winter months like this, I usually go to bed early because it's dark and... But I, I wish they wouldn't turn the clocks. It confuses everybody. I think Arizona doesn't do that. Is that right? Arizona doesn't do the clock thing. 
because it doesn't make much sense really I guess it makes a little sense it makes sense to the workforce where they don't want uh, people you know in the dark when they get off work and on and when they go to work and get off work but if you don't work a regular hourly job the clock doesn't matter so that's my little message for today Peace of an happiness, I'm going to sign off. If you would, please share this. If you want to know more about me, just go to magicbrad.com. That's where I live. Okay, be well. Enjoy. Bye.